Hey everybody, Max Shank here, and today I'm gonna share why juggling is so great for you and how to get your way there. I think juggling is a fantastic exercise, helps coordinate the right and left sides of your body. It integrates the right and left hemispheres of your brain. It's extremely good for eye-hand coordination and sensitivity, and it's just a great pairing with regular strength movements like deadlifts or handstands. So, let's get started. One of the most important keys to juggling success is to start out at a level that is appropriate for your skill level. A lot of people find that just throwing and catching a ball and trying to eliminate the sound of impact and improve the accuracy of their throws, it's well worth the time investment to do the seemingly simple exercises so that you can get consistent throws and really smooth catches. So it's very important you get started just being able to easily throw the balls straight up and down and catch them without making any noise. Then we're gonna start crossing underneath and that has to begin with your very basic throw across because this is going to be what every throw looks like. And there are professionals who are certainly more qualified to teach you advanced juggling concepts, but even with just a normal three ball pattern, you can develop a lot of eye-hand coordination, overall athleticism, and have a really nice option for a moving meditation by practicing these couple things. As we add the second ball, you wanna throw the second one underneath. And one of the things that I like to suggest people do is throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. And this will help you start to find a tempo. As you get comfortable, throw, throw, catch, catch. Starting with both sides, left first, right first. Then you're gonna add another ball, but you're actually just gonna leave it in your hand at first. And you'll notice that as soon as I throw the second ball, there's a hang time window where I can throw this third ball. So you're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you would just continue on like that. This may take some time. I think one of the hardest things for people to understand with this is that you will have to probably drop the balls about 150 to 200 times. Like you're gonna suck at first but it's one of those things that in just five minutes a day, you can have it within two weeks. Obviously, if you practice with a greater frequency, you can get it a lot quicker. There are a couple things now for hand movement that are really beneficial, and then I'm gonna let you guys get to practicing because that's what's important here. Two balls in one hand, you're gonna go from inside to outside. And you'll notice as I'm doing this, my right arm has that outside circle pattern. And that can be done the other way as well. Now what's really great about this is it actually is a fantastic shoulder warm up, and it also trains your rotator cuff. You're getting a lot of coordination and you're also making sure that you don't overdo it one way and underdo it the other way. So this two ball practice here can be done from out to in, from in to out, and one of my favorites is up the pipes. So you wanna just imagine that you're throwing each ball directly up, and you can even start switching sides with the other ball. So as you get more comfortable with this, you'll be able to add more balls or even do heavier weights. I make sure I do at least five minutes of this every day. It's a very good neurological primer before you do any other more challenging activities. As I said before, it's a great meditation and it's a lifelong skill that you can progress forever. So I highly recommend you check it out. If you want more information, check out maxshank.com or come see us at Ambition Athletics. Enjoy. All right, some of the common mistakes you wanna watch out for. Number one is letting the balls get too far away from you. So what ends up happening is people end up chasing them. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just set up in front of a wall and that wall is gonna keep you a lot more honest. The other thing that people 
make the mistake of doing is they start to go try to catch the balls up high and it puts them in a really disadvantaged position. So you wanna make sure that you let the balls come all the way back down to your hands and be as patient as possible. The last thing that can really help you a lot is to use a metronome so you can start to find that rhythm a little bit because the better you get at juggling, the more even that tempo is gonna stay regardless of how large or small that juggling pattern is. And what you want is you wanna have as much consistency in the tempo as possible while keeping a nice athletic stance. And I would strongly recommend using that metronome, standing in front of a wall, and being mindful not to chase the balls up too high and let them come back to you. And be sure to be patient because you are gonna drop them. And as long as you can push through that frustration, you're gonna have a lifelong skill that gives you back over and over and over again.